Hello, good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Oh, okay, yes, I can hear you now. So how are you guys? How are you? What about your day? How was it? Uh -huh. How was your day? Excellent. Okay, very good. And the other ones? Mercedes, how was your day? Let me uh, see. Which relax. One. It was relaxing. <laughs> relaxing. Okay. Very relaxing. Good. Excellent. Okay. So today is Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday, guys. Okay. So we are going to start with today's agenda. And well, guys, today's agenda, we have uh, the warm up, then we have unit eight we are going to cover a vocabulary and we are going to talk about grammar so grammar today is going to be based on jobs professions okay and the simple present wh questions that is going to be the grammar topic for today good evening carlos so let's see guys we are going to start and okay so unit number eight and it is what do you do that is the actually unit number eight, the name. And we are going to start with some reading, okay? I need two volunteers. So we are going to start by reading two special houses in the American Southwest, okay? So I need two volunteers, two volunteers. Uh -huh. Who wants to read? Yes. No. Uh, Mercedes. Okay. Mercedes, you read teacher. this one. Okay. Uh, teacher, no sé si lo puede dar soon. Um. Yes. Por yeah. favor. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotel, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes uh, called uh, organs. Uh, Sorry, uh, Lorian Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, uh, invite 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 a uh, visitor uh, to to say in in her uh organ. Okay. Uh, it has three it has three shirts, two beds on the floor, and a hood burning stove. Uh, Mr. Nelson teacher teach her get about Native American traditions. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, uh, what is the meaning of Southwest? What is the meaning of that word, Southwest? Viejo Oeste. Viejo Oeste? Okay. Yes, es el suroeste. Okay, suroeste. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Okay. So in this case, we are talking about different things about Native American tribes. Yes. Eh, how do you say nativos? ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? Native. No native. Okay. No native. Yeah, no native. Okay. Native. 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 Yes. Na native. Okay. Um, in this case, do you know what is the meaning of Ogan? Ogan? It says, um, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Ogan. What is it? Is this? Yes. Como una cueva, como... Como una choza. 
choza, ¿ok? So, the organ um, es una choza de los indios, ¿ok? In the U.S. So, in this case, organ. Así son las chozas, miren. Ok, es cultura, ok. So then, um, let's see. It says, it has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mire cómo se dice esas cocinas. Nosotros aquí es con la de, de leña, ¿verdad? Entonces, mire, a wood burning stove. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I need another volunteer to read this part. Another volunteer? Hello? No? Okay, Astrid? Me? Yes. ¿Cuál parte, cuál parte sería, teacher? Ah, okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This one. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. They are, there are many books and colorful paintings, many other houses near. Mrs. Nero's house are gray, white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbor, neighbor, neighbors, neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Miss Cisneros love it. Okay. What do you think about Mrs. Nero's house? So it is colorful. It says that Miss Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. Mexican American, yes. And it says the house has a porch with a pink floor. Imagine a pink floor. Yes, a pink. Uh, the rooms are green, pink, and purple. So that's why they say that it is really colorful. Uh -huh. Do you like that type of house? A colorful house? Would you like to have one? Colorful with a lot of colors or no? Maybe. Uh -huh. Could be. All right. So guys, let's move to this part, okay? So it says, read the article, what is, uh, what's in each house? And let's complete the chart, okay? So Sandra Cisneros house. Okay, so there is a porch with a pink floor. What else? What else is in her house? What else? You seen there is and there are, guys. Uh -huh. um, house. There is or there are. Uh -huh. A porch with a pink floor and a many. Many books. There many book. are many books. Very good. What else? What else, guys? Uh huh. There are many books. What else? The colorful paintings. There are colorful paintings. Okay, very good. What about Lorraine Nelson's organ? There is a... Also is... Um, wood burning stove. Wood burning stove. Very good. Number five. There are... Rich. Chairs. There are chairs. three chairs. chairs. And number six, the last chairs. one. There are two beds. Two beds on the floor. Two beds on the floor. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Okay, guys. Very good. 
Then let's move, okay? Then let's start with unit eight. What do you do, okay? So let's see, what we need to do is that we need to match, okay? We need to match letter A, cashier. Letter B, cook or chef. Letter C, doctor. D, flight attendant. Letter E, judge. Judge. Letter F, lawyer. Lawyer. Letter G, musician. Musician. Letter H, nurse. Letter I, pilot. Okay, pilot. 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 Okay. Letter uh, J. Police officer. Police officer. What about K? Receptionist. Receptionist. Letter L. Same person. Same person. Letter M. Security guard. Okay, now this one, security guard. Security guard. Guard, yes. Now, singer. Singer. Waiter and waitress. Waitress. Okay, guys, what is, um? okay, this picture, this one is letter K, says receptions, okay? He is a receptions. What about this? Those two? Nurse. 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 Okay, so nurse. What about nurse. this? Pilot. Uh, pilot. pilot. And? Pilot. And flight attendant. Flight attendant. Pronunciation. It is pilot. 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 Very good. A pilot and a flight attendant. What about this one? Musician. 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 Musician and singer. 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 singer, singer, singer. Okay, what about this one? Oh. Chef uh, or cook? Cook. cook. This. Um, and and person. Person. Waiter and waiter. Waiter. Uh, and waitress. Waiter. Okay, guys. Waitress. How do you say camarero? How do you say camarera? Camarera. Waiter. waiter. Waitress. Very waiter, good. Waiter and waitress. Okay, Maria Ernesto, I read your message. Okay, what about this one? And sales person. Sales person. Sales person. Very good. Sales, sales person. Cashier. 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 And this Cashier. one? Security, Security guard. guard. Security guard. Okay, very good. And the last, okay, part which is conversation, guys. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Rachel and the other one is going to be Angela. Raise your hand. Yo? Me. Okay, Tatiana, Me? you are Rachel. And me, Fabiola, you are Angela. Okay, go. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a front desk agent. Mm -hmm. how, how does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Work the plaza. For. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? 
Actually, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. Guys, pronunciation. Agent. 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 Okay. Agent. All right. So, where does your brother work? Where? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's, he's a front desk agent. How does he like it? How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. What is the manager? Gerente. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. That's interesting. Como que diga tres. Yes? Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. Very good. What does he do? Actually, actually, he's the manager. Actually. Yes? Actually. Okay. What is the meaning of actually? De hecho. De hecho. De hecho. Okay. Very good. De hecho. De hecho. Okay, guys. Very good. Questions about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario? Questions? Doubts? No? Okay. Let's move. Now, the grammar topic for today is WH questions. Yes? So, when do we use WH questions? We use WH questions to ask about routines and general information with the simple present. Okay? In this case, we have different WH questions, right? We have where, we have what we have when do you remember about wh yes give me more when, examples why 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 who who okay. how how uh, what what often how often how often very good okay um, huh very good, okay? Very good. What time? What time? Mm -hmm. How much? How much? Very good. So we have auxiliary verbs. And for the simple present tense, we use do or does. Yeah? So we say, where do you work every day? Subject and verb in base form. Where do you work every day? Yeah, in the second example, what does your mom cook for lunch? Your mom is third person. That's why we use does, yes? So now let's see. Okay, now we are going to create questions, okay? Yeah, I need you to create questions with where, when, what, which, and how often. Yes. Ok. Eh, vamos a crearlas juntos. Ok. Pero usted tiene que anotar en su cuaderno. Please take notes. Yeah. On your notebook. Ok. I'm going to help you with the first one. Yeah. And then you are going to continue with when, what, which, and how often. But first, what is the meaning of where? Donde. Donde. When? Cuando. Que. Which? Um, ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Which? And how often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, let's see. Give me an example question in the simple present with where? Teacher, who yes. también es WH question, yes. ¿verdad? Who, yes. Uh -huh. 
Very good. Now, give me one example, okay? Deme un ejemplo con where. Creemos una, una pregunta. Where do, where, where do you study? Very good, okay. Now, with when. Mm -hmm. With when study? When does have class? When does who? Who? The subject have? No, that is the verb. That is the verb. Um, I need the subject. When does it come? Um, when do you? The subject. I need the subject, guys. The subject. She. 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 Okay. When does she? Comes. Uh, by. By. She buy. The book. When does she buy? Car. Mm. The food, okay? The food, food, okay? All right. Okay. Cuando ella compra la comida? Cuando? When? Yes. What about what? What is your name? What is your name? Uh, okay, but we do or does. Sería una tercera. Do. What? Do. What do? Well. What do you like to eat for lunch? What do you like to eat for lunch? Very good. Uh -huh. What about which? Which uh, do you prefer, coffee or tea? Okay, which do you prefer, coffee or tea? Very good. How often? How often um, does she study English? Does she study English? Perfect. Uh -huh. And the last one, who? Who do you live with? Excellent. Who do you live with? Okay. Now, let me ask some of you. Fabiola, where do you study? What do you like? I study English. And where? Where do you study? In English corporativo. Okay, very good. Maria, when invent, okay? Tiene que inventar la respuesta, invent. When does she buy the food, Maria? When? Mm -hmm. When? When does she buy the food? My mother. Okay. What do you? My mother. Buys the food. Buys the food. Buys the food. When? Cuando? When? When you come? And my mother bought the food in Saturday. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Maria. Observations. Guys, which is the preposition that we use with the days of the week? Uh, 
the preposition? Do we say in Saturday or do we say on Saturday? On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday, okay? Yes, very good. Never in, never, okay? Never, never, never. Okay, guys, remember, para los días de la semana, nunca, pero jamás vamos a decir in Saturday, oh. ni tampoco the Saturday. The Saturday oh. tampoco, eso no existe, okay? Siempre on. Oh. On Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, Teacher. Friday. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Eh, when, bueno, cuando, cuando usamos eh, la preposición at. Mm, ok, at. Bye. Um, at la podemos utilizar con um, las comidas del día. For, uh, for example, eh, podemos decir en el almuerzo, en el desayuno, en la cena, como lo decimos. At lunch, at breakfast, at dinner. Ese es un, un caso, pero también at nos ayuda a decir cuando estamos en un lugar específico. Yes. At tiene okay. muchos usos, sí. Pero si hablamos como de, de días o de las cosas que hacemos durante el día, podemos decir en el almuerzo, at lunch. En el desayuno, at breakfast. En la cena, at dinner. Nunca in the dinner, nunca in the lunch, nunca in the breakfast. Es at. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Sí? Muchas gracias. Ok, very good. Now, um, Carlos Vidal, what do you like to eat for lunch? Que me gusta comer de almuerzo, me imagino, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. What do you what? like to eat for lunch? I, could... I like uh, to eat. I like to eat. I like to eat. Uh... Pupusas, por ejemplo. Pupusas, ok. Yes, very good. Cindy, like I like to eat pupusas. Thank you. Very good, Carlos. Cindy, which do you prefer? Coffee or tea? Me prefer coffee. I, I prefer. I prefer coffee. Very good. Eh, Tatiana Abigail, how often does she study English? Um, she study English every day for three hours. Okay, she is study or she is studies? She is study. She is no. study or she is studies? She is studies. She is studies. Third person, okay? Terceras personas, guys. She yeah. studies English for, uh, for three hours, okay? Um, Edwin, who do you live with? I live my mother and my nephew. I live with? My mother. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. Jenny, Jenny Lisbeth, who do you live with? Okay, this. I like. I live with mom. My mom. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys. So you see, very easy, right? It's not difficult. It's easy. Okay. So now let's move. Let's move. Do you have questions? Questions? Do this? No. No. Okay. Let's move. Um, okay, guys. So let's move to the book. Yes. So we have pronunciation, reduction of do and that. 
Yeah. Yes. So in this case, para hacer la reducción, okay, to make the reduction, we can say, where do you, do you, en lugar de decir como do you, como bien marcado, podemos decir como una u larga. Where do you? Yeah. Where do you work? Where do you work? Or puede decir, where do you work? I mean, it's your choice, right? Usted elige como lo dice. Yes. Then we also have, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Algunas personas hacen, el, la D la hacen una R. What do, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Ajá, así, what do you do? What do you do? Ajá. What do you do? Yeah. Then we also have, where does he work? Where does he work? Yes. No se hace tan marcada la división de las palabras. Se trata de hacer como de corrido. Where does he work? Where does he? Does he? Does he? Where does he work? Where does he work? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does he do? What does he do? Yeah. Where do they work and what do they do? What do they do? What do, what do they do? Yeah. I need one volunteer to read all of this. One volunteer. Who wants to read? Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Uh, where does he work? In a hotel. Um, what does he do? He's a manager. Uh, how does he like? It? It's okay. Where do where where do you where do they work? Mm -hmm. In a restaurant. What do what do they do? Mm -hmm. uh, they are they are waiter. How do they like it? Uh, they hate 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 it. They hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Yes, hate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So in this case, as you can see, we have WH questions, right? So where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? Where do they work? What do they do? And how do they like it? WH, yes? WH questions, very important in English, okay? Let's see, let's complete the conversations and then practice with a partner, okay. Letter A, what does your sister do? My sister, she's, she's a nurse. Okay, let's complete it, huh? What does she do? Where? That. Where does she? Mm, okay, but look at this, guys, okay? Fíjense en la respuesta de la letra B. It says, it's difficult, but she loves it. Entonces, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Uh, what does she work with? No. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do they like it? How does yeah? she like it? Correct. So, guys, in how do you like it? Esa pregunta es como preguntarle a usted. ¿Te gusta? Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Es como preguntarle, ¿te gusta? Entonces, pero con la WH, el how do you like it? Entonces, tenemos que decir, how does she like it? Y mire, ya responde. It's difficult, but she loves it. Es difícil, pero le, le encanta. Yes. Number two. What does what does or where 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 does your brother work? Excellent. Where does your brother work? And then at the airport, he is a pilot. Pilot. Oh. She doesn't really like it. ¿Qué le está preguntando? How like? How? Like. Does like. he like it? Very good. Huh? Okay. Number three. No, look at the answer. Look at the answer. Let it be. Mire la respuesta para poder formular la pregunta. Yes, they like it. Mm -hmm. How do your parents like their jobs? Okay. Es como preguntarle, ¿le gusta el, su trabajo a tus papás? Oh, I guess they like them. Creo que sí le gusta. Yes. I don't remember it. In an office in the city. Which is where, the question? Where, Wait. Where, where do they work? Okay. Very good. Number four. I'm what, a student. What, what, what do you do? What do you do? Perfect. La pregunta, guys, what do you do? Eh, es a qué te dedicas. What do you do? A qué te dedicas. I'm a student. Soy un estudiante. I'm a student. I see. How do you like? How do you like your classes? Okay. They are good. I like them a lot. Okay. How do you like your classes? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. No? Okay. Let's move. All right. So let's see. Um, guys. This is Ben. This is Ben. So where does Ben work? In a restaurant. In a restaurant. No, where? Donde? Where? Yes. What about Claudia, guys? Where does Claudia work? In a, hospital. Hospital. In, a hospital. in a hospital. In a hospital. And where do Vicky, do Vicky and Owen work? Um, in the supermarket. In the supermarket. Okay, mm -hmm. in the supermarket. Yes, in the supermarket. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Um. Okay, now, what does Ben do? He is a waiter. waiter. Now, what about waiter. what does 
Claudia do? Uh, doctor. She is? She is a doctor. A doctor, yes. And what do Vicky and Owen do? Sales person. They are sales sales person. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, so now I need two volunteers. One is going to be Richard and the other one is Stephanie. Mm. Uh, Carlos Israel, you are a uh, Richard and Carlos Vidal, you are a uh, Stefan. Okay, teacher. Uh, hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm firefighter now. Do you know? That's exciting. Yes, but but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay. Uh, repeat after me, terrific. Terrific. Exciting. 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 With. 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 Yes. With. Okay. With. Let's see. Um, the students are terrific. Guys, cuando decimos terrific, no es que sean eh, terribles, okay? O algo negativo. Terrific is positive. Terrific es como decir increíble. Mm. Terrible es como scary, ¿verdad? Scary, yes. Como, ajá. Eso es como un poco, um, um, sí, como terrible. Sí, claro. Asustado. Um, que le causa a usted estar asustado. ¿Ok? Pero terrific no vamos a confundir esa palabra con algo malo, ¿ok? Porque no es algo malo. It's not bad. It's good, ¿ok? Terrific is amazing. Good. Excellent. Yeah? Ok. So, let's move. Class activity. So, now is your turn, ¿ok? Vale. En este momento, what we are going to do is that I'm going to create breakout rooms. Vamos a crear los salones. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Fíjese bien. So, first... Quiero que en su cuadernito de la 1 a la 10, usted vaya viendo si tenemos que utilizar do or does aquí, en el espacio en blanco. ¿Yes? Es lo primero que vamos a hacer, del do y el das. Y luego vamos a pasarnos a esta pequeña lectura que va a responder What job does Mr. Miller have? What time does Mr. Miller get up every morning? And what kinds of TV shows does he love to watch? Después de leer esta lectura con sus compañeros en el salón. Yes? That's what you are going to do. Bye. Tómele una captura de pantalla si no tiene la clase, si no vaya a hacer la hoja de trabajo. Y ahí está la clase. ¿Sí? Entonces, aquí está esto. Tómele. Y a esto. Bueno, ok, guys. En este momento nos vamos a ir a los salones para que usted pueda trabajar con su compañero. Vamos a estar unos eh, de 5 a 8 minutos, ok.
Y en el segundo, what time? Hola, me acabo de unir ahorita. Hola, estamos en... Hola, Fabiola. En Hola. Lo primero. Vaya. En la primera pusimos where does John live? Bye. En la segunda sería the plane. The plane. It sería what time does? Creo que das sería en la segunda verdad. Das. Que dice que the plane. Creo que el de plane se refiere a, plane. al avión. Y como el avión es una cosa. Como sí, que es it. De... it. Sí. Das. sí, what time does the plane live? No, es cierto, es cierto. Este, no me esperan un segundo que mi celular se está descargando. Voy a traer mi cargador. Pero si vale. usan avance. Vale, Sería what time does. Do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas? No question, teacher. Ok, perfect. Okay. Where... En la tercera sí sería you do, ¿verdad? Where do you? Creería que sí. Porque no podría decir where does you. Sí, sería do. Sería do. do. Y en la segunda. What time? Do. Yo creo que es do. En la primera puso das. Ajá, en la primera das, en la segunda do, en la tercera do, where they eh, sería do también. Do, ajá, where to. En la tercera, en la quinta sería das también. What does these girls? Porque está hablando como de tercera persona, ¿no? Como las chicas. Sería das. En la sexta que está hablando, pero está hablando de un show como niño, como de un solo niño, porque si fuera niño sería children, ¿no? Uh -huh. Es como el singular. Uh -huh. Es como que está haciendo o, o, hace, o a qué escuela va, algo así. That child go to school. Pero estar hablando de una tercera Creo que persona tú. también. Yo. Sería he. Entonces sería el das. How Creo does. que sí. Uy, en ese sí no sé. Eso está complicado. Vaya, vale, y la Hota, tercera. Hota. Las, Pongamos las, das. La yeah. séptima. Uh -huh. La séptima. También, ¿verdad? Porque yeah. es una tercera persona. Es como de ella. Es como oh. ah, ella necesita ayuda para llegar a casa, algo así. Ajá. Das. Y en la octava también, porque es we, with, 
Sí, el do es en esta entonces. When do. Uh -huh. What children? Entonces sería sí, pues, No sé qué es. What does. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y where, where, where George live. Está hablando de él. Porque está hablando de Jorge. ¿Dónde vive Jorge? Entonces sería das. Das. Vaya en la siguiente actividad. Dice que es. Eh, what job does Mr. Miller? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de Mr. Miller? La otra palabra no me salió bien. 7, 8, 9, me falta uno. La 10 es where does, ¿verdad? Does, ajá. Ahí dice Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, ha. ¿qué trabajo what tiene job? Mr. Miller? Ajá, ajá. Yeah. What time does? ¿Qué tiempo, uh, Mr. Miller? Puede leer la, la pregunta número dos de lo que tenemos que responder. Es que a mí me salió con una captura Is, hice, pero me salió mal. Dice, What time does Mr. Miller get up every morning? ¿Cómo que hace en la mañana? Yo creo que sí. What kills? Ustibicho. Tampoco la tercera me salió bien. Y le voy a pasar las preguntas. No sé si le van a salir bien. Ahí son las banderas. What job does Mr. Miller have? Ajá, es como que hace Mr. Miller. La siguiente tenemos que. Porque el das. Ichi, it's. Ajá. Ajá, entonces we, sería that. Are you with day? Ajá. Eh, entonces sí. sería when, when do we eat? We eat. Y ahí está hablando de la sexta, ¿verdad? Del niño, no sería das. Ajá, es que yo puse do. Ah. Ajá. Oh. Por eso estaba preguntando. Ah, es cierto, es cierto. Vaya, sería... Ah, sí, sí, entonces solo eso creo que estamos bien. Vaya. Vaya ahí. Y, y, y eh, en la historia... I am... En... Si tengo una gran familia. Gran familia. Y... ¿Cómo dice? Y, y, y Busi. Y tenemos... Dice... Mm. Soy profesor de inglés y tengo una gran familia. Tengo una rutina diaria muy ocupada. Ajá, me, me, me levanto, levanto, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá, me, levanto, me levanto todos los días a las seis. seis. Me baño. Me baño. Me cambio. Me ah, me... Y... A, la y... Siete, me voy, me voy... a las siete Ajá. y media salgo al trabajo o me al voy trabajo. al trabajo. Ajá. Y voy a la, voy a la escuela. escuela a las 8 al punto. A las 8. Llego a la escuela, creo que dicen. I get to school. Sí, Ajá. llego a la escuela. Ok. Y preparo. Mi clase. Hasta, hasta el mediodía, sí. dice que enseña. Preparar las clases. Y enseña hasta el mediodía. Estas son las palabras de donde está Until Noon. Uh, 
Okay, guys. So let's see. Let's uh, finish with this. Number one, where do or does, guys? Uh huh. Jonathan, Mari. Does. Very good. Does. Or does generally. What time? The to plan leave. Does. 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 Number three, do or does? Where do? Do. do. Okay. What about number four? Do. 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 Number five? Do. Do because it's plural. Number six. Do. Das. Das. Okay. Number seven. Das. Das because it's das. she. Number eight. Do. Do, do because do. it is we. What about number nine? Do. Do. Do because What? it's plural. Do. Number ten. Ten. Das. Das. Very good, excellent, okay? Guys, before continuing, I'm going to give the attendance, okay? Voy a tomar la asistencia, yes? Diga present cuando escuche su nombre. Yeah, give me one second, okay? My guys, here we go. Alexandra Giselle Corena. Alexandra. Okay. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez Arguera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Damaris Milaro Hernández Palacios. Present. Thank you. Daniela Lisbeth Martinez Cruz. Present. Uh, okay, Daniela, thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa Melgar. Fabiola Yamilev Díaz Alas. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción Ramírez. Ingrid Astrid. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. José Alejandro Flores López. José. Katia Mayerli Granados Jiménez. Present. Thank you, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Avilés Chacón. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Present. Thank you. Mercedes Isabel Acevedo Quesada. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yamilet Reyes Argueta. Mirna Yamilet. Mirna. No. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez Hernández. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Jenny. Present. Thank you. Okay, so guys, right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here our class. But tomorrow, I need you to please give me the answers of this uh, reading, okay? That's the first thing I'm going to ask you tomorrow, okay? So I will ask you about the answers. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I will see you back tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for connecting today, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night. Good night.